starting with pure, high-quality groundwater and world-famous rice, Sado Island has become known as an excellent place to produce sake. We have been using the traditional handmade methods for more than a hundred years, with great appreciation for the abundant nature that surrounds us on Sado. The brewing room must be kept sterile and at a constant temperature. For this reason, we are not able to let visitors enter. Through this video, we would like to show you the sake brewing process. The carefully selected sake rice is polished with a rice cleaning machine. Some premium sake requires the rice to be polished to 35%, leaving just the core of the rice. It makes the sake smooth, mild, and flavorful. After the sake rice has been drained, about a thousand kilograms of rice is steamed in a large wooden vat called a koshiki. This stage is called jokyo. In the sauna-like muro room, steamed rice is sprinkled with kojikin, which are yeast spores. Over a period of about 48 hours, it becomes koji, or malted rice. Koji is a vital ingredient and greatly affects the quality of the sake. The next stage is moto. Water and steamed rice are added to the koji to make seed mash known as moto. Sometimes moto is called shubo, meaning mother of sake. To make moromi, or unrefined sake, more steamed rice and water are added to the moto. This process is done in three stages. The brewers use long wooden poles to stir the seed mash. This helps the yeast to grow and keeps the temperature constant throughout the vat. This action you see now is called kaire. After about 30 days, the final moromi mash is packed into bags and pressed to produce fresh sake. After pressing, only the sake lees remains. Now is the birth of the clear fresh sake that flows from the funakuchi. After bottling and labeling, we bring our delicious handmade sake to our customers.